What's up guys, today in this video I wanted to show you how to use the substitute function. I'm going to show you a few different ways you can use it, whether that's re actually replacing text, kind of, or substituting text technically, but also like inserting a line break and stuff like that. So I hope you're really going to enjoy this video, and if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green, I'm the owner of Optimize IS, and what we do is we help business owners, probably just like you, help them optimize their information systems, automate their workflows, and do database implementation on stuff like Airtable, and also Asana, Slack, and get them organized everywhere. So if Without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. All right, so now right into the video, as you can see, we have Airtable pulled up here, so get yours pulled up as well. And I'm gonna show you how to do a few things with this substitute function. So the first one that I'm gonna show you is how to add a new line in your, in say an array. So we're gonna be looking mainly at this roll up function, which we have as an array join rolling up a linked record. And so this is gonna be really useful for you if you want to just enter that new line and you don't want it to be like this, like this record right here, you want it to look like this. I'm gonna show you how you can do that and if you don't want to just like shorten your field width. So the second thing that I'm gonna show you how to do is just use that substitute like most people will be using it and use it to substitute that text and substitute. In this example, we're gonna be substituting at example.com with at gmail.com. And it's gonna be very easy. You're gonna know how to do it at the end of this video. So first you wanna just enter to the right of this column and then you can come down here and click formula, and then you want to type in substitute. So I start typing that in, then click this, and then I always like to just click in here and see what my operators are so we can see we start off with the string, then we enter the old text, then we enter the new text. So the string is actually going to reference this field right here. So the string, we're going to say email rollup from contact, and then the next argument is the old text. And for us, in an array, you're going to have a comma separated value most of the time. So what you want to do is you just want to put that comma in quotes. So if I just put that comma in quotes, that's going to be the old text. You need to have it in quotes because Airtable needs to recognize this as a string. And so to denote it as a string, it needs to be in quotes. So now you're going to put your new line and this is a little bit more coding on the coding side of things, but to, add, to signify to Airtable that you want to add a new line, you need to do forward slash n. So if you find your forward slash, then you put the letter n, you just put that in quotes, and that's going to signify to Airtable that, hey, he wants to add a new line at every comma. So now if you click create field, it will do that exactly for you. So if I expand this, you can see that doesn't expand out. That's a new line, and that's exactly what we wanted. So I'm going to shrink this up and I'm gonna shrink this up. And so now I'm gonna show you how to replace, like you see over here, replace example.com with gmail.com. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna erase all this. So we're just gonna use this, our pre-existing formula field and we're gonna say substitute. And so again, it's the same three operators. So you have the string, the old text and the new text. So the old text is gonna be that same one, that same field. Now the new text, this is where you want to get specific. Ideally, you'll have something straightforward that's the same throughout each one. For us, that's going to be easy because we have at example.com in each email and also in each array, like both of the emails in the array are that. So we all still want to signify to Airtable that this is still text. So you can put at example.com in text and then for you, you would just put whatever whatever you want to substitute as the old text in the quotes in that in that second operator, and now in the third operator, you want to put the new one. So we'll say for this one at yahoo.com. So then you put that in quotes, signify that's still a string, and then as long as it looks something like this with the commas in between the two text strings and the, your field reference in the first one, just click save and you'll be good. So now all of these, you can see they say at yahoo.com. You probably wouldn't actually want to change the emails, but this will be useful for you if you want to change like something in one field and expand it a little bit or something like that. So I hope this was really useful. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments section. If you need any help setting up more formulas like this or setting up your Airtable database, go ahead. Don't hesitate to click the link in the description and request a consultation to speak with me or someone on my team. And I'd love to talk to you and help you out. Keep watching more Airtable videos.